Hello everyone, back again. It's, uh, it's been a while and I apologize for the, uh, the huge delay in finishing up on that earlier Zero series, but it will come. It's just going to be delayed a little bit. Right now though, I'd like to talk about another project I have sort of veered off into, and that's 3D printing uh, model aircraft. And today, I'd like to talk about one in particular uh, by a, a good friend of mine in Canada, Lewis. Uh, he goes by Gonzo the Great on cults. So, Lewis, this one is for you. He had asked that I do a, a, a prototype for him on a little model of a Australian World War II aircraft called the Boomerang. It's made by the uh, Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation in Australia. They started the war off with, uh, with these little planes and used them almost for the entirety of uh, World War II. They were not uh, actually frontline fighter aircraft. They were used a lot in ground support and uh, even search and rescue. But Lewis, Gonzo the Great, designed um, all the files for this little boomerang. Now this particular model, he designs in usually all of his aircraft in three separate sizes, 600, 800, and uh, 1,000 to 1,200 millimeter versions, and you can take your pick. The files are available online, uh, a site called Cults, and I will be, uh, I'll be putting the, uh, the link to Lewis's site on Cults. Now, these are paid files, but they're very inexpensive. And the good thing about 3D printing these little airplanes is that once you have the file, uh, if you should crash, which this, by the way, is my fourth example, and yeah, I crashed them. But once, uh, once you have the file, you can just 3D print another. Now, of course, 3D printing takes uh, a bit of time, but it's machine time. You set up the file, put it in the 3D printer, and walk away, and bingo, you have uh, a wing panel or a cowling, or a canopy, or whatever, and you then stick them together. This is done in uh, a filament called lightweight PLA. This particular filament was E-Sun. That's little e, capital S, U-N. And it's available on Amazon. Uh, the stuff is about 40 bucks a spool for a, a one kilogram spool, but that's actually pretty inexpensive because the way this stuff prints, it actually foams as it prints. So that $40 per kilogram price actually works out to about half that in actual printed parts because of the foaming. It foams up. In other, in other words, one of the easiest way to think about this is that with an extrusion multiplier of one, which you will use with most PLAs or PETG filaments, you'd get a certain amount of plastic coming out of the nozzle. Well, with lightweight PLA, you can turn that extrusion multiplier down to half or less. And there you go. So what we're going to do, we're going to fly this little, this little zipper, and it's, uh, it's a pretty quick little airplane, pretty snappy. And it, uh, I would not recommend this as a beginner airplane in this size. I would go up to an 800 or its big brother size because this little thing is a, a pretty zippy little airplane and I really didn't get a good handle on how to set it up uh, until after we had had some rather mis <laughs> misfortunate uh, uh, accidents with trying to get this thing uh, a maiden flight out of this. But, Turning the throws way, way down uh, ended up being what I'd been missing all along. Uh, most of the aircraft that I build are larger than this. This is the 600 uh, millimeter, the little guy, and most of mine. What I ended up with <laughs> is four millimeters, just four millimeters of up aileron uh, and zero down 
Uh, I like to use differential. Excuse me. <coughs> I like to use differential aileron. So four up, no down, and about four up, five up, and down on the elevator. Now this is a, uh, a bank and yank. There's provisions for rudder if you uh, if you want one, but it's really not intended to uh, to use a rudder. So you need um, you need a couple of uh, aileron servos for the <coughs> for the wings. You need one inside for the rudder, and you're all set. It just takes a little 2205 motor. Uh, these motors are available uh, online, cheap, and they're used for quads, and it just bolts right on. So, enough of me talking. Let's go uh, chunk this thing in the air and see what happens. <laughs> 